Hello and welcome to Texas Style Cuisine. I'm Chef Johnny and today I'm going to show you how to cook up a spaghetti squash. We're gonna get started on this, and I tell you what, after we uh, after we cook this up, and I show you how to cook it, I'm gonna show one of my favorite ways to eat it as a side, just kind of a garlic and butter sauce on it, uh, kind of like a buttered noodle, and uh, I'll show you how to do that after we get this uh, cooked up for you, and show you how all that works. But the first thing we're gonna do is is cut it in half. Now I'm gonna tell you the hardest part here is is the stem. It's very hard. It's very rigid, uh, almost uh, stick or log like. And so it's, it's real hard to cut through. So you have to be careful cutting that. This other part, the hide's tough, but it's not that bad. So if you have a good sharp knife, you can easily cut into it. And it'll, it'll go in there and pierce it. Not a problem. Take it and just push it down. Now we're halfway through. Now what I'm going to do here is, let me turn this around so you all can see, is kind of pick it up. And I'm going to cut it down, pushing down on it, all the way to the stem. And if you'll see, I by bypassed the stem just a little bit. Now, you can see I missed the, I missed the stem a little bit. That's not going to hurt any at all. Um, if we would have hit that stem, I probably would have just broke it in two anyways. Because, like I said, it is, it is real hard. So bypassing it is not a problem. So I'm just going to take it, set it to the side, get a bowl. And what we're going to do is, is just going to take our spoon and we're going to clean out the seeds. Now some people will take these seeds and actually toast them. Uh, never have done that myself, but I do know people that do. So we're just going to get the seeds out just by scraping them like this. And there we go. First half's cleaned out well. Gather up our pulp and our seeds that out of the way and now we'll do this one just the, the same way take our spoon scrape it got scrape kind of hard doesn't come off real easy especially on each end it's kind of where it's I guess mainly hanging on we just scrape that off on each end and when you get to this stem end that's where it really kind of gets tough there Dump that into my bowl. Now that we've got it cut in half, all the seeds are out. I'm just going to put a little oil on it. And this is just plain old vegetable oil. You can use uh, whatever you want. If you wanted to use uh, olive oil, whatever would be fine. Doesn't need a lot. Just a thin coating. And I'm just going to brush this real well to kind of coat the bottom side of my squash. There we go. Doesn't take a whole lot, just want to be coated good. I probably got a little bit too much in there actually. So I'm going to take each one of these, turn them over, face down. And I'm just going to put these in a 375 degree oven. It's been preheating. I'm going to put it in there for 45 minutes and then pull them out. Here we go. They came out of the oven and they are hot. So is the pan. So I'm just going to let them sit here, I'm going to let them cool down, and then I'll show you how we turn them into spaghetti. Let's get these uncovered. They've been sitting here for a while. They're still pretty warm. Flip them over. Oh yeah. We're looking about right. Sort of get a little bit crusty on the bottom. Nothing wrong with that. They're ready to go. I'm gonna let these cool just a little bit more. You probably see the steam coming up off of them. So we let them cool this way for a little bit. And then uh, I'll show you how we prepare them. These are about cool. So I'm just going to show you how we do this. You just take your fork. And when you start flaking this, it comes off in long strings. Where you can tell it's still hot, still getting some steam once it got down into it. Now many people will use these actually for a boat to put their dish in. So you could keep it and use it for a serving dish. Actually make your, 
your casserole or whatever you're going to make out of this and put it right up inside the skin. But we're not going to do that. That one's done. So let's move to the next one. Little switch spaces there. And again, we just take our fork, start pulling it off. And it shreds where we get these nice long strips of spaghetti squash. Now, I'm not going to tell you this is just like eating pasta, because it's not. But if you can't have pasta, if you can't have that wheat, if you are on a uh, keto diet or something where you can have no, no uh, carbs at all, of those fast carbs, starchy carbs, then I tell you what, this is a pleasant, pleasant trade-off. And uh, it is very flavorful. I do like it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how I prepare this with some butter and garlic, toast it up in the pan, and then I eat it on a plate kind of like I would a buttered noodle or something like that. So let's get over to the stove and I'll show you how I do that. Put some butter in my pan, let it start melting. I'll take just a big head of garlic now, squeeze down in there. Whoa, that fresh garlic smells good. Hit that hot butter, a big clove in, here's the bottom. Oh, I'll pull another full clove, but it's a small one. Put that in there. And I'm just going to toast up this garlic. So we're just going to drop some of our squash right down on that butter and garlic. Let's spread it out and mix that in. It's not really going to take it enough that it toasted, it, but I'm going to get it good and hot in here. And I'm just going to put a pinch of salt in it. Small pinch of black pepper. Stir that in. There we go. Let that cook just a little bit more. Let y'all see this here. So it up. You can see the strands in it. There you go. The strands of squash, very flavorful. That butter and garlic really set it off. And I'm just going to put this and use it for a side dish, like I was saying. It's one of my, my vegetables. But it kind of looks like having a pasta on the plate. Let's take this squash now. Put it on the plate. Thanks for stopping by Texas Style Cuisine. I sure do appreciate it. And I tell you what, if you go down there, give me a thumbs up. That would be awful kind of you. Remember to subscribe my channel and click that bell so you know every time I got a new video up, it'll notify you. And you can come over and see what's going on on Texas Style Cuisine. Tell your friends and your family about us. Let them know they can come over here and learn how to make up some spaghetti squash on Texas Style Cuisine. We'll see you down the road. Sitting by the wagon when the sun come up this morning. Bacon, eggs, and coffee, biscuits, and beans. Cookie strikes the bell and he rings the world a warning. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.